Hi, I'm Sam Goodgame. Uh, I am a, a data scientist and a product leader. Um, I started my career in uh, the U.S. military as an infantryman, and uh, the Georgetown Certificate in Data Science was actually the platform that I used to get into this field. Um, so it was, the, it was the first stepping stone that I took into the world of data science. Um, I've worked at a handful of startups, um, tiny ones up to a, a tech unicorn most recently, um, Morning Consult, um, leading data science and a product team there. Um, and I love this field. and I've been teaching at Georgetown for the last five years. It's an interesting time to be a data scientist. Uh, arguably, it's also an interesting time to be somebody whose title is not data scientist, who um, has command of some of the skills um, that, that, that are integral to, to data science. Um, so somebody coming out of this program who wants to be a data scientist um, can seek out jobs that have data science in the title. Um, there are also sort of uh, related roles um, that, that are relevant that maybe are data science roles, but can be good starting points. So there are a lot of analysis roles, um, business intelligence roles that oftentimes people will start with um, and then transfer internally at that company um, once, uh, you know, once, once they're able to. Um, there are also a whole lot of related roles that may use similar terms in the job description. Uh, so decision science is one of them that's a little bit more focused on uh, helping to make decisions internally at a company, um, but it uses a lot of the same uh, tools and techniques. Uh, there are a plethora of engineering roles that uh, are using data science skills. Uh, so data engineering is a, uh, it's a, it's a sister role to data science. Data scientists do data engineering. A lot of data engineers do data science as well. Um, and it's not uncommon for data scientists to end up becoming data engineers uh, or vice versa. Um, machine learning engineering, machine learning operations, um, AI operations is a, a term that's uh, sort of coming into vogue. Um, data science is a team sport uh, and there are a lot of different functions that are necessary to, to, to make it possible. The Georgetown program uh, is designed to give exposure to a lot of the different things that need to happen through the course of the data science pipeline to produce results. But in reality, at a company, um, people will specialize. Uh, and so if you pick up the foundational skills, um, you, you get exposure and access to a whole bunch of different types of roles that touch machine learning, uh, which I think is um, uh, actually even more of a reason to, to get started. A lot has changed in the last couple of years. I mean, data science has been a fast moving field since people started using that term, but um, the trajectory that language modeling in particular has taken uh, has been really interesting. And um, these models, which are data science models of the, of the same type that we teach uh, in, in this program, um, are getting really good. Um, and so in my mind, that means a couple of things. Um, first of all, actually understanding what's happening under the hood with any of those, with any of you know the GPT-4 or the anthropic Claude models, um, fundamentally, those those are no different than the other classical machine learning techniques that we teach uh, in the Georgetown Certificate Program. So, actually understanding what's going on um, is the same. It's the same process. Um, second, you can learn faster. Um, so previously, if you had questions getting started as a data scientist, either about Python and programming or about the sort of methodological aspects of data science, about the, 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 the math behind the models, um, you could go ask your colleagues, you could rely on your instructors. Uh, there's a pretty good chance that you would go to Stack Overflow and see if you can find the answer to your question. Um, you can get your questions answered a lot faster now. Uh, I wish that I had access, access to these tools uh, when I was getting started. Um, and then finally, it makes you more efficient. So there's um, you know, a boilerplate aspect to most jobs and, and data science is no different. If you are creating an application at the end of your project to render your machine learning model to make it useful to people, um, you know, maybe there are, there are parts of that application that you're less familiar with and would really prefer not to spend a ton of time on, the process of getting up to speed really quickly on an adjacent technology to the one that you're working with or comfortable with, um, is it, it's a lot faster. Um, and you know, now there are code generation models um, that are you know, even, even built into the uh, editor that you use 
that make that process a lot faster and more enjoyable. So um, I actually kind of envy a lot of the students who are just getting started now because they have powerful tools at their disposal.